Welcome to the FuseNet How-To Series. This video will demonstrate how you can use the start and end date filters in the FuseNet Data Explorer. I'm Zoe Wingate, the FuseNet Documentation Specialist. In this video, you'll learn to filter data series by the period dates of all data points within the series, and to preview and extract data points within a given date range. The date filter is included in most domains in the FuseNet Data Explorer. Today, we're looking at the prices domain. It includes a start date and end date option. And we have a tooltip here, which pops up with additional information specifying that this field filters data series by the period dates of all data points within the series. All data series that have at least one data point with a period date inside the date range will be displayed. Only data points that fall inside this range will be displayed in data selection previews and extracts. Now our period date is going to be the last day of the collection period. For monthly prices data, that will be the last day of the month of the reporting period. So let's take a look at an example. I'll start by searching for prices in Yemen and I'll look at wheat flour and I'll look at imports. So those are my three current filters, which have given us 74 results. Let's say I'm only interested in prices from within the last year. So I'm going to add a start date of June 30th, 2023. And then for my end date, I'm going to choose June 30th, 2024. This has refined our search to 46 results, so it has excluded the data series that do not contain at least one data point with a period date that falls within the state range. So from here, I'm going to select several data series to build my data set. Now I'll scroll down to preview the data on the chart, and I can hover over different points to view the data point values. So at this point, I might decide that I want to adjust the date range. Uh, let's say I want to look further back. Uh, I'm going to scroll up and adjust my start date here so that we go back to January 31st, 2023. And our chart is updated so we can look at those data point values. I can also preview the data on the table tab scrolling down to look at the data point values by period date here. And as usual, I can make any customization choices using the options over in the sidebar here. When I go ahead and download the data, only the data points with period dates within the given date range, as we've seen in the table and in the chart, are going to be included. This is also true of the API link. If I would like to keep receiving any new data that comes in instead of stopping with June 30th, 2024, I can go up and remove this end date and leave it blank. Thanks for watching. For more information about the Data Explorer, go to help.fuse.net/fde and don't forget to subscribe to the FuseNet channel for more how-tos.